In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the present value of a perpetuity due. Now, if you remember, a perpetuity is an infinite stream of equal cash flows that's paid out at regular intervals. For example, if I offered to give you $100 a year forever. Now, you calculate the present value of a regular perpetuity by taking the cash flow, in this case $100, and dividing it by a discount rate. So let's say your discount rate was 5%. You take $100, you divide it by 0.05, and it gives you 2,000. 2,000 is the present value of that infinite stream of $100 cash payments. But that's assuming that the very first cash flow is occurring one year from now. Okay, so you don't get that first payment of $100 until one year from now. But what if I told you that you got the very first cash payment of $100 today? Well, that's going to change things a little bit. We're going to need to make an adjustment. And this is called a perpetuity due. Okay, so it's different from a regular perpetuity. Now, what you do is you just add that first cash flow, which is going to be $100, just like the rest of them, to the present value of the regular perpetuity. So it's actually quite simple. Okay, so our regular perpetuity, the present value of that was just the cash flow divided by the discount rate. So you take that, which we calculate up here as being $2,000, and then you just add that extra $100 cash flow that occurs today. So you just take the regular perpetuity plus that initial cash flow that's occurring today. Okay. So in this example that we had before where we had a $100 cash payment every year for all eternity, if we have that first $100 payment occurring today, then the present value of this perpetuity due would be our regular perpetuity, $100 divided by 0.05, plus that payment that occurs today of $100. So it'd be $2,100 would be the present value of a perpetuity due, whereas the present value of the regular perpetuity had been $2,000. Now, this formula here for the present value of a perpetuity due, you could also rearrange that as this, where you have the cash flow divided by the discount rate times one plus R. Okay, that will give you the present value of a perpetuity due. Now. It's just a different way to get to the same answer. You still get to 2,100 as the present value of a perpetuity due, right? You take the, uh, the regular perpetuity here, then you multiply it by one plus R, okay? So what that is showing is that the value of a perpetuity due is one plus R, one plus the discount rate, times higher than the value of the regular perpetuity. For example, if you had a discount rate of 8%, then the present value of a perpetuity due would be 1.08 times higher than that of a regular perpetuity. 